Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham, and today I'm going to give you a little tour inside of my condo. Um, it's kind of where I'm always filming, so you guys probably see certain angles, but I figured I would just show you some of the things that I have in here and why I have them. So there's a good reason why all the things are in here, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to give you a little tour of my place. Some people might call it a crib. I just call it my little home. All right, guys, so this is my living room. I'm just gonna give you a little tour, but before I give you a tour, I'm gonna show you a larger angle just so you can see what it is like in my home. I feel like it is always a work in progress because I've got so much that I do out of here from filming YouTube to working on new products that I'm launching and also working on my business, which is an in-person business in Boston. So here is my favorite chair that came from my last apartment. Doesn't exactly go with my modern place, but still cute and gray, which is my style. So it's stacked with different afghans that my mom has made. Sometimes they're in my bedroom and sometimes they're here, but she makes the best afghans ever. They're super, super soft. They're well loved. And basically every night, when the dogs and I are taking some time to watch a movie or I'm editing, those blankets go on the couch and the puppies love them so much. So I have almost like a miniature studio in my living room. So here I've got a light, which is from the DVE store. Um, if I need extra lighting, I sometimes use this. It is, let's see, the prismatic light. I tend to bounce it off of a wall because it's pretty intense light, so it's not very flattering if it's pointed at my face. Got a super cute little table back here that's hiding wires and internet and things like that. I don't even know why I have this phone. I never use my phone. I don't even know if it works, I'm not sure. Um, and I've got a money tree that my friend Tammy gave me, which I don't know how I've kept it alive, but I have. And right here is my catch-all armoire. So this is stocked with everything from dog leashes to potty pads to my keys. And it's got my favorite saying, how I always greet people, is bonjour. So my mom gave that to me years ago and it just traveled from place to place. Um, this was also, this was custom made for me for another apartment, so it's not my exact style, but I feel like as long as I paint something white, it just blends right in with everything else and it works. So this picture is my first piece of artwork that I ever purchased. It's by an artist, her name is Lisa Kuman, um, and she just, she takes beautiful, beautiful pictures of wild horses. I love this picture. It is, I think, one of five large prints that she did. Um, she does sell some lesser priced options online that are, um, I don't think they're actual originals, but I love this picture. Um, very significant to me. Um, I guess it just is very symbolic. It's a wild stallion, but it reminds me of the confidence that I got at the age of 40, where I just started going for it and really not being afraid anymore, if that makes any sense. So love this picture, it's magnificent. Um, here we've got my dining table, which is also a work table. And as you can see, my plants are not doing so well. So a thing that I'm not talented at is plant care, and I can never keep succulents alive, regardless of how hard I try. So um, I just take them back to get them repotted because something always dies and it's always this thing, I don't know why, but that's always the first one to go. I'm guessing that the succulents that they put together probably need different amounts of water. Like maybe it's not all my fault, who knows. So I've got my computer here. I don't usually do my editing here. I usually move over to the couch, but I do charge my computer here. Um, so I've got my little attachment where I take my SIM card and I download my footage when I'm making things for YouTube. I've got my notes because I'm going to do another video today and I need to just jot down some notes and keywords. A permanent marker, which I should never leave out because Simba actually bites those and he has been known to definitely ruin some things with permanent markers as well. Um, I have these really beautiful sheepskin covers on all of my chairs. Um, the chairs are actually really pretty on their own. 
Um, these are from Design Within Reach, but the covers just make such a big difference for being comfortable. So at first we had two of them. We thought it would be nice just to do two chair covers and then we felt bad for our guests because it just didn't seem like they were as comfortable as we were. So over here, I've got my little tripod. So as you can see, my photo stuff for um, Instagram, YouTube, content creation kind of takes over my living room, but this is the place in the apartment that has the best light. So it just makes sense to have things out for when I need them. Um, I just took it out because I wanted to do some things and it looks like we've got a cat over here. Um, you can't really keep him off the table. You can try, but you really can't. So. Um, excuse me. Hi. So over here, I've got some things that I'm working on. I'm just about to launch a new product. It's going to be a silk sleep mask. So I've been really going over all the details and trying to get it just right. Um, this I think is packaging for a silk pillowcase. I just have this out to compare. Um, this is my potential packaging, which I think came out really beautiful. It has my catchphrase, which is stay healthy and beautiful. Um, and it just looks so good. It's a magnetic box, really high quality. And this is the prototype for the mask that will go inside of it. I was just comparing it to a mask from Slip Brand. Um, I just wanted to see size-wise what the difference was. I prefer the mask that I'm bringing in. Um, a client actually just gave this mask to me and it was great to get it so I could compare. Um, mine is just a little bit larger than the slip mask. It's hard to tell, I think, with the perspective I'm showing you, but I actually prefer mine. And then this was another prototype that I got, which I really liked, but their packaging was just so-so. So I'm not going to be using that company. And speaking of the devil, it looks like somebody, this is not for, ch no. He has my earbuds, so we're just gonna take those away. I'll put them in my pocket for now. Those are not for you. They're not for you, Sims. So just to give you an idea, I've got another light. This one is really handy because it gets really dark in the winter, so I don't have that much time to film. And this is a soft box. I've got another one of those that's actually packed away in the closet. Um, I don't know why my camera's not focusing right now. So, okay, this is my soft box. It's just a really flattering light. I'm gonna take it out later. Um, I might just take a picture to show you guys my filming setup. And then up here, I've got yet another. Why is everything so blurry right now? Not a good picture. All right, let's stop. So we have yet another succulent. This one is not dying yet, so <laughs> good news. It's lasted for about four months. And I have this beautiful lamp. I can't remember. I think it's a Philip Stark ghost lamp, and it's so pretty. I have another one in my bedroom. And then yet another lamp that came with me. I think my ex-boyfriend gave it to me, and it has the most beautiful light. It's really, really flattering. It's really pretty. Um, I love my house to be pretty dark at night and relaxing and just have a little bit of light that's really warm. This is my printer. So as you can see, I feel like my living room is, is an editing room, a filming room. That's why there's always so much going on here and that's why it never seems as clean as I want it to be. Back here, I have yet another light for when I need an extra light. Another plant. I, if there are any plant experts on here, feel free to chime in with what I should be doing with these. I've got lemons and they're fake because the first few weeks I had this place, I used to try to go and buy lemons to put in that bowl. And I think I was spending like $22 in lemons a week and throwing them away and it seemed like a real waste. So now I've got fake ones and they're beautiful. I've got a humidifier because now that I have my heat on in Boston, it's super, super hot and I can't take it. Um, I have books and actually now that I'm looking at this, it looks like my cart is backwards. So it's supposed to be the other way around so that you can see the titles. So as long as I'm here guys, why don't we just fix this? I sometimes put my computer screen on this when I'm doing a, that's so much better. Now you can actually see the pretty part of the books. I'm glad I noticed that. They need to be fixed and straightened out. Um, so over here, we've got the Christmas tree and I hide so many dog beds back here. 
Um, the funny thing is that the dogs don't really want to be in the bed. Um, if they can have the couch, as you can see, they're all just going to be on the couch. So they have all the beds that they want and they pretty much never use them, maybe just during the day when I take away their stairs. This is the cat's little tree and it is by Mao Pets. Uh, people always compliment this cat tree because it's so, so pretty and Simba loves it. It's actually held up super well. It's got these really nice little pom-poms. Um, it's really, really soft. You can take these covers out and wash them. And he can also scratch his nails right here, which is great. I'm surprised he's not running over. I'm by your tree, Sims. Sims. Simby. I'm surprised he can resist it right now. Oh, I guess he can. So that is Simba's cat tree. And then coming over here, we've got my Christmas tree, which I love so, so much. So pretty. And... It's, I think it's a seven and a half foot tall tree. Um, we tried to put a star on it and it fell right over. I'm not sure why we were doing something wrong, but we took that right off. And I just wanna show you guys my very favorite ornament on the tree. It's a Yorkie, it's so cute. So over here, stepping past the dog beds, over here is the chair that Simba has adopted and doesn't let anybody else sit in call it Simba's chair and the living room is a little bit different just because of Christmas so this would actually usually be this is a matching table that goes with that Philip Stark lamp and it would usually be right in the center and the living room would feel a little bit bigger but because of Christmas we just have it right here so we could you know move it over for the tree so more filming stuff is over here guys and I'm getting myself in the reflection as well um, so we've got right here my microphone. So when I'm filming with my larger camera, I actually use this boom pole setup just because I don't have a lot of rugs and furniture in here. So there is a ton of echoing if I don't use a boom pole where the microphone is coming down right over me. Um, I have a plug-in lavalier microphone right now because I'm using my smaller camera just so I can walk around. My other camera is too big. And I'm gonna be filming after, so this is my other camera. And it's got a really nice halo light, which is from the DVE store. Um, I use a monitor just so I can see what's going on. It's a lily put monitor. And my camera itself is a Canon EOS 90D. I love my camera. Um, I don't think it's just the camera that's really special though. My lens that I have on my camera is the best lens I've ever used. It's a Sigma lens. It's 18 to 35 millimeters, and it is the best lens I've ever used. I love it so much. It's really the only lens that I need, which is great. Um, I don't move this camera a lot because it's just kind of big and unwieldy and expensive, so I don't want to ruin it. And then down here is my Sonos speaker. Um, I forget, I think this is a subwoofer. Um, I'm not going to lie, I got it because it looks so good. I know that the sound for Sonos is really good, um, but I felt like it looked so good in our condo, so that was a huge selling point for me. I love anything that's white and anything that looks good. Um, over here, I've got this really cute rug. It's by a company called Lorena Canals, and it is washable, which is basically everything to me um, because the dogs are kind of naughty, and I'm not going to lie, every once in a while they pee on the rug. I wish they didn't. They're not perfect. Um, I've got some little stairs right here. Everybody's always asking me where the stairs come from. They're from a company called Louie Dog. It's a Korean company. I just looked on their website. Oh, look, look who's in his little, his little perch now. Just so you guys can see what the cat tree is like when the cat's in there. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Hey, Sims. Hi. He is the best cat. Oh, he's going to attack me, isn't he? You're going to get mom? What are you doing? Hi, buddy. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't want me here. Okay, bye. Um, <laughs> he's so funny. So over here, you see Alfie is perched. He's so cute. He needs to be brushed so badly. I've been really busy. I only have two days off this week, which is not really off either. I'm doing work on those days, like today. Poppy's just relaxing over here. And she also really needs to be brushed. And then we've got Lola. 
panels. Uh, I love this couch. It's from Bow Concept and it's the best sectional I have ever seen in my entire life. It's super, super comfortable. Um, it probably needs to be shampooed pretty soon because I let the dogs go outside and then they walk on it. But really great couch. Um, Jeff loves it too. We love it for movie nights. And then I have these really pretty pillows which are from Design Within Reach as well. And then the one in the front is from West Elm, I think. Um, so over here, and sorry because my kitchen is always in, I, I feel like it's always in use, so it's hard for it ever to look as perfect as I might like it to be. Um, old bar stools from our old apartment, which I love, and a stool for Simba to use because I don't want him to rip up the really nice, these were expensive Italian leather bar stools. So I put a stool here and he actually just walks up the stool when he wants to get to his food, which is over there. So just going back to this area as well, I've got this coffee table and this is the coolest coffee table I have ever seen in my entire life. So this coffee table actually has a lever, which is right over here. And you can super easily just um, you turn the lever over, lift it up, and you can raise and lower this coffee table. So I'll set my camera down for just a second. I hope the noise is not terrible and it doesn't kill you guys, but I'm just gonna adjust it so you can see how fast you can adjust this coffee table. Okay, voila. So see how much higher it is now? Um, I do a lot of my work here because I like to watch movies or things like that when I'm editing, and it's just so easy to have. Um, this, what's also so cool about it is you can actually flip it open and it seats six to eight people. So in my old apartment where I didn't have space for a dining table, um, I had this and when I needed to have a dining table, when I was having people over, I could unfold the whole thing and fit, you know, I, I wouldn't say I ever had more than four people for dinner at my house, but it was still nice to have the option and not to commit to using it all the time. And then on this table, I have some products that I was actually going to talk about in a YouTube video today. They are from a company called Earthly, and I had been testing them out the past few weeks. I don't know why my, it just doesn't really want to focus today, does it? Let's see. I think it might be because it's a little dark in here, but I am not sure. Um, anyway, so Earthly products. I've got this and I've got a few more and I was going to be talking about them this week. So I just have them out because I'm going to be using them. Oh, and this is not one that I'm going to be talking about, um, but it is magnesium oil. And a friend of mine just told me about it. Um, so our bodies need about, oh, I don't know how much magnesium, but our bodies need magnesium every day for about 300 functions and I wasn't getting enough magnesium, so she actually had me get some magnesium oil and start massaging it on my calves at night, and it has been putting me to sleep like a tiny baby. It's the best thing I've ever used. I love it so much. Um, this is from a brand called Trace Minerals. I will link to this, and I'll link to some of the things that you see in this video as well um, below in the description, um, but I really love that product. It makes such a big difference. I, I can't believe how well I've been sleeping. So this is a fireplace, which sadly does not work, but it does look pretty. Um, and then we have a pretty big TV, which I don't know if we really needed such a large TV, but um, I do enjoy it for watching movies and things. Um, up on the ceiling, there's a chandelier in the living room portion of the room. And there is also a chandelier in the other part of the room too. I love <laughs> chandeliers, they're my favorite thing. Um, and then over here, we've got my robot vacuum, which I run every single morning. Um, I also have a really nice um, Miele vacuum that I use for the corners and the air filters and things like that. But this works so well and it's so nice that I can be doing other cleaning while this is cleaning for me. Um, I've got my five minute journal that I write in every single morning and then I always just kind of like stow my remotes over here and we have the other part of our Sono system that is the, um, the long speaker that we have which is amazing and I love that it just blends into our home. I feel like they should make more things in white because they blend. Um, we have a cast iron plant over here which is never supposed to die. 
It's dying. Um, <laughs> I'm doing my best, but I think it's dying. And then this is Simba's litter box, um, which I think it's one of the better litter boxes I've ever seen. I clean it every single day. There's never any smell. And there was a slightly better looking one from the same company that I had before. Um, it's called Mod Cat. And the other one was a little bit better looking because it was more of a cube and it looked like another Sono speaker. But as he got bigger, it was a little bit too small. Um, I will link to this as well for any of you guys that have cats. Um, it's top entry, which means there's not quite as much litter on the floor, but if you look, there is a little bit of litter on the floor. There just always is. Um, and then over here, I've got my air filter and it is mounted, which just makes it super, super easy for me. Um, I clean it daily, I vacuum it. Um, this is a great air filter. It's by Rabbit Air, and I'm going to be linking to this as well. And then in here, it's kind of nice. I can just see right into my kitchen, which as you guys can see, has all kinds of stuff going on in it right now. Like my dishes are always a little bit damp still when I take them out, so they're drying in the dish rack right now. And I've got my Berkey as well. Um, but it's a cute little kitchen, and I really like it. Guys, thank you so much for watching my tour of my living room. I know I had said that I would do this a long time ago and there's a ton of stuff that's always going on in here. So I was hesitant to show what my living room looks like, but I try to keep it as neat as possible and I do a lot of work in here. So I'm pretty proud of what I can accomplish. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, it would mean everything to me if you could subscribe to it. I'm gonna be posting a lot more content, a lot of the things that I love, a lot of my tips, and I love to share them with you guys. Thank you so much. Please go ahead and like this channel and let me know if there's anything in my living room that you saw that you did not expect to see or anything that you have more questions about. Guys, stay healthy and stay beautiful and I'll talk to you soon.